This is Deb, and I'm so glad you're here with me in my kitchen. We're gonna make something super fun today. And this is a great make-ahead side dish for the holidays. Um, do you love Cracker Barrel? I don't know, I love Cracker Barrel. And these are Cracker Barrel fried apples. So let me show you what we need. Apples, of course. We're gonna use a pinch of salt, some brown sugar, butter, cinnamon, and just a little bit of lemon. That's all we're gonna need for this recipe. Hey guys, I'm working on this apple recipe and I thought, here's a good tip for you. You know when you're coring, you know, you peel the apple, you're gonna core the apple. It's so hard to like get in there and hold it in your hand and you know, like cut, cut the core away. Here's what I do. I put it on its side and I just go in at an angle. Core's gone, it's easy. So rather than using a paring knife to core this, I'm always afraid I'm gonna cut myself. So I take an apple that's been quartered, set it on its side, and just go in at an angle. Look, core's gone. Just another easy tip. I thought you might find that handy. We've been chopping and slicing and coring and peeling apples. We're almost done. And I'm just cutting them just into little, little chunks. And I just thought I'd finish up here and show you the next step, which is super yummy. Um, we're gonna take our lemon and slice it in half. We want these to stay fresh. And normally a lemon is, you know, to keep them from browning, but this is gonna give it like a bright swish of freshness. Um, so again, we're just squeezing that lemon over those diced apples. We're gonna save the, the leftover. We're gonna put it down the garbage disposal when we're done because it makes the house smell so fresh. Okay, so next, brown sugar. I have this packed in here, so it's packed in pretty hard. Cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and we're just gonna mix this together and then we're gonna fry the apples. We have our hot pan. It's very, very hot over the stove. And I'm gonna put butter in, and it's gonna sizzle right away. Yes. And then we have our apples and everything here. We're just gonna stir that all together really quick. And into the pot it goes. Oh. And we have a butter overboard situation. Back in the pan it goes. And we're just gonna stir this. It's gonna take a kitchen on 15 minutes and these will be the, the sweetest, butteriest, cinnamon, uh, they're fabulous. So I'm just gonna let this cook. You can watch me while we're doing it and you're gonna see how wonderful these are. Hey guys, remember that lemon that we squeezed over the apples? Um, we're gonna use that. We're not gonna throw that away. We're actually gonna throw it in our garbage disposal. Why? because it freshens the garbage disposal. It's a great way to like freshen the kitchen too. So just dump it in your garbage disposal, turn it on, leave it on for like 30 seconds. Sounds like a long time, but just let it process. It's the best thing. It's a great... You know, I just had a thought while we're doing this, double the recipe. Every time I make this, I double the recipe. It goes so quick. The apples are so cinnamon-y and delicious. Um, you could even make it ahead now. It is the end of October, and it'd be perfect for Thanksgiving as a side dish. It would be, you know, just freeze it. Perfect for Christmas. Freeze it, it freezes up to two months. And just that quick, the apples are done. Don't these look amazing? Let me tell you, they taste amazing too. I just haven't even worked here. Um, I'm gonna give them a quick try, but before I leave, I wanna make sure Please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. Head over to TikTok and give that a follow. The full recipe is here, but if you want to see even more tips and tricks, head to the blog, bowlmeover.com. See you next time.